Welcome to this short MedChemica MC Pairs training video. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to set a substructure lock using the advanced filter in the rule design tool. In the previous training video, you will have learned about the other advanced filters. The last filter is called the substructure lock. A little hover over the information icon will remind you what this feature does. Without the feature being clicked on, there will be no filtering of the products based upon substructure. If we enable this feature, we can then enter a substructure lock. A substructure lock is a substructure that must be present in the final products. To set the substructure lock, you first enable it, you then click the draw button and a light box window opens with a copy of the input structure ready for modification. Well, let's consider here our medicinal chemistry. This is an ATK inhibitor. Here is a hinge binder, a quite specific linker group, and a quite lipophilic head group. As projects often go, we know that part of the molecule is believed to be fairly optimised, or we want good ideas where replaces part of the molecule. How do we tell the computer to do this then? We need to lock out part of the molecule that we don't want to change. We have a helper tool here to help us do this. We enable the highlight tool here and we highlight the bits of the molecule that we want to change simply by clicking the atoms we are wanting to change. We don't have a lasso, we have this highlighting tool instead which is quick and precise to use unlike sometimes the lasso tool and in being like this we can generate some sophisticated patterns and sophisticated filters. So what it actually does is delete part of the molecule and generate a substructure lock for the rest of the molecule, locking out the structure we are wanting to retain, so that doesn't get changed. It does this via a smarts filter. We show this smarts filter because the computational chemists like it. Here is our complex structure filter. For the most part, you don't have to worry about what it looks like. If we want to change the substructure lock, we can press the red button, which clears it, and go back into the draw button and we are then free to draw again and we might want for this time to change only the ring and not the linker. So there we go, that is how we use the substructure lock. So that is an explanation of how to use the final advanced filter, the substructure lock, for a rule design run. If you require further support, please contact support at medchemica.com. Thank you.